We've got three days of good weather predicted ahead of us, so I'm back to working on the fencing for our doe enclosure. Today, I put up seven of these upright poles. Isaac just called. He's on his way over to do the trenching work from the power pole to the goat shelter because the electrician is going to come over tomorrow and do his work. Everything seems to be coming together. I want to give a shout out to the whole crew that was helping me. Mike came over to make sure that he and Isaac were on the same page about the trench. Jared was moonlighting as Isaac's assistant, and I was very happy to meet Jared on this project because he happens to be the farm manager for the largest pieces of land that border our place. cement that is yeah. that's a barrier for that wood yeah well they didn't come all the way yeah. out with it did they just put your teeth in it right here and then go don't yeah. go down just just skim the top and go i'll do the rest of my hand from here to the pole no <laughs> Don't make me go get my four.
Well, this part of the trench went really well. The excavator dug right through all this stuff like nothing. It's when we got out here to the middle part, the driveway part, that they hit really big slabs of limestone and just really could not get very deep at all. The trench does need to be deeper. The electrical cable needs to be down a little bit lower. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. It definitely got a little too dark last night for me to continue filming. I talked to them when they got to this point about what we were going to do and it seems like the least expensive way to handle this will be after the line is is in and it's covered then we'll come back in with a lot of gravel and build the surface build the surface up and spread it out and get more depth that way You definitely need to watch your step around here. I let the girls out this morning because the electrician is going to have to work inside the goat shelter. So I hope the goats stay out of our way. They were cooped up all day yesterday so they wouldn't mess with my poles for the fencing. So maybe they're so excited about being out on pasture that's where they'll be today. Mike had a small jackhammer that I got to learn how to use. After I kind of got the hang of it, he used a big saw to define the edges of other spots that needed to be hammered out. All right, let's give it a try. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Almost. So I'll give you this. I'm going to go outside, poke that through there, and if you'll thread that on, teeth, teeth that, way. that way. Yep. Yep. All right, we're good. Okay, take her all the way up. Okay. There okay. we go. Okay. it over because if he does it with a machine he'll pull it yeah, out move it and yep break it yep we don't want that we're too far now So we're carving back the hillside here to make a nice level spot for the fence going down that direction. Of course they filled in the trench with the gravel first. They're now using fill dirt to sort of smooth it over. It's the next day and I'm happy to say that our goat shelter As electricity. The dawn to dusk light will be right up there and here's how this looks after the guys worked last night. Cut this back so we'll have a nice clear path for the fence and we were able to use the extra fill dirt to smooth things over a little bit better. They still have a little bit of work to do. But this is all nicer. We set aside some of the larger rocks behind the power pole here where they'd be out of the way. This next clip shows Isaac's finesse with the excavator as he fine tunes the finished job.
we've got outlets along the outside here there is a grounding rod down there somewhere Of course, there are four lights in here, one in each stall. And each stall has its own outlet as well. Here's the electrical panel. You can see all of the cords. Hello. Yes, you like the electrical stuff in here, don't you? All of those electrical cords are sheathed, so nothing can chew through them. Definitely a bonus out here. We have a dusk to dawn light out there now. And wait for it. Let there be light. Isn't this nice? Just the way it was supposed to be. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.